So I'm going to show you how to automate this one, get single user API. And the second scenario, we're going to add our feature file, single user not found. These are the two scenarios we need to automate. Click on single user, single user means slash two. Okay, we need to provide that. So let's go here and write a scenario, one more scenario. Scenario, so colon, so so request get single user. So get single user. So so given so given. Provide valid endpoint to fetch the single user. So when when the request is sent to the server. To fetch single user, then so validate, so validate the response status code two hundred and what do you want to validate? So few more things also we need to validate. What are the other things I'm going to validate is so the email is this one or not our first name I'll validate. First name, last name. Validate the response body. I'll write it. Validate the response body. I'll write and validate the response body fields. So this is the one. I'm going to so automate this. This is a scenario I have written in the feature file. So this is not scenario outline. So scenario means single scenario. So this I need to implement in the step direction file. So let's go and implement in the step direction file. So step direction file is the get API test. Here I will implement these things. Okay. So another scenario, you can run even single scenario also. I'll show you how to run. By putting a tags, by putting a tags, you can run that. So single scenario also you can run. You don't need to if you don't want to run all the scenarios, you can run even single scenarios. Now I'm showing here validating the fields, response body fields. So we'll do how to validate all these response fields. So yes, so copy this, open a Gherkin uh, no app, uh, app right Gherkin app. So there is a Gherkin app, right? Uh, we have a apps, uh, Gherkin apps. So go to apps, so we have a Gherkin apps. To so generate the Gherkin style code. I'll open, here are apps, here are apps. I'll open, TD Gherkin app I will open. So using TD Gherkin app, it will generate for you all the Java steps. Entire Java steps are ready. So just you need to copy paste. All these steps, you need to copy paste and write the respective code for that. Okay, write respective code for that. So let's go and implement this. The REST API, get API test Java class. So I'll paste it here everything. So I'll paste it here everything. So already we have a validate response status code we have. You don't need to download this. So validate response status code you have. You don't need to develop this. In the end place, you put it then. So then you have to put and remove all this one by one, you implement it. So one by one, we need to implement that. 
So remove this, uh, throw new pending exception, you remove and we'll implement one by one. So given when, then we are implementing now. So given when, then, so in the given, we have to give validate uh, to a single user, you need to, so fetch, so write that first, set the base URL. So rest assured dot base to I equal to so read property value right read property value method and give that so base URL so base URL so next so rest assured set the base part at the base path. Base path means endpoint URL. So rest assured dot base path equal to read property. So what is that you do? Base path, uh, endpoint URL something, right? What is this? Endpoint URL. So I can use the uh, get all instead of get all users i'll say this one uh get endpoint that put otherwise our endpoint service endpoint but it's the same i'll put get single user point otherwise get single user endpoint so just do this uh, just only this one you have to do so then go to your uh, so here uh, the Give the endpoint thing. So that's a given development. So endpoint you are setting there. Then in the when main thing is in the when you have to so response resp equal to so rest assured dot uh, c. So what you want given dot so headers you can add headers all the headers so if you want i'll just copy from here okay already we have done that so we don't want to spend much time this so till when and all this we can now copy this everything so page number uh, so you are giving a query parameter if you, it's not a query parameter you don't need a query parameter here Okay, you don't need a query parameter. You have to give here slash two, I think, right? That's a URL. What is that? Slash two. This slash two you have to give in the get method. So go and give the uh, slash two. That's it. So make sure you know giving the here slash is not there. So that you double slash is there again, it won't recognize. Right? So in the get method, you are giving slash, then extract. Then response body fields, we need to validate. Already status code, this method will call. It will validate from here. Again, you don't need to implement. Once already implemented, same step is there. It will take care. You don't need to again do that. And uh, body fields, you have to validate. So body fields, how to validate body fields? That's it. So let's do that, how to validate a body field. And get the values, right? You can get the values. So how can you get those values? You need to understand them. Even you have a log also. You can log uh, all the content also. Log all method also will be able to see here. So there are so many uh, fields are there. So you need to understand log. There is a log. See log. It will log the your uh, response. Okay. You can log the response also if you want. Status line, if you want, you can get the status line. Right? So these are the different things uh, you can add if you want extra. So now I want to get this. So the response body fields. What are the response body fields? So first name or last name, I want to validate. So avatar, all these things I want to validate. So let's validate. Right? 
Even ID, if you want, you can get the ID value also. How to get the decimal path value? So you can. So what is that? JSON dot data of. So you can directly get it. String uh, ID equal to. So string only, right? That one. String is a number. So in. But in the in ID equal to. So. Resp dot path data path you can specify you can specify the path so what is the path so what is the path directly you can call the value so this is the one data dot id so data dot id you can Okay, so if you want, you can print this asset, or if you want, you can print this uh, ID value. Values. You can print ID. Okay, then same way you can fetch other. So what is the next one? Fetch the email. So string email value equal to. So Press for dot path, not JSON path, path. In the path, what we need to do? Object name dot email. So you can print that also. Email value is. So you can asset both if you want. Okay. If you know that. So then you can fetch the. What is the other one? First name, last name, you fetch it. Fetch the first name. So first name value. This is the, so here you have to give what is that one? What is the field? You can see that exactly first underscore name. First parameter name, what is that? So this is the key, the key you have to give, the value you will get Janet. Last underscore name. Last underscore name. Last name. I'll just give last name. So here you need to give last underscore name. How the parameter is there in the JSON response? You have to give that. So you put assertions for all of them. You put assertions one by one. So assertions dot. Asset equals. You give expected is two, and actually ID. ID. So the so expected is uh, the actual value is uh, this one. What is the email you give in double quotes, right? So what is that, Janet? We give this. So this is the one. Same thing you do. You have to add assertions. Otherwise, how do you know this is correct? So first name. So you give the first name value here. So what is the first name? So what is the first name, Janet? You, this is your expectation, but what is there? So that you can take it with the assumption. You're comparing the expected value and actual value. What is the last name value? So this is the last name I'm giving. And what is the last name? So we were. So this is how you can assert and the 
response body fields. So this is the code we have written. And then we developed this. So we developed this. And you just, you can run directly now. So you can see the four test cases now. Before it was three, now you can run four tests. Maven installed. So if assertions are passing, that could. If any failure is there, it will show you what is the reason for failure. This is how BDD will work, Gherkin style BDD. Otherwise, without feature file also, you can write. You don't need a feature file. See, there is a failure. What is the failure it is saying? One, one error, four passed. It is saying uh, validate the response uh, status code. This we didn't implement. So undefined it is saying, maybe uh, typo. So here, this might be same we didn't provide. Whatever we have implemented here, what is the keyword here? Capital we use, here small is there. That's the reason. Now you run it, it will work. Okay, so this is not implemented, it is saying. All right, not implemented, it is saying. So we can implement that. We have done. And also undefined step exception. You are getting for this step. Clearly, it will tell you what is missing there. Okay, so run this again. After implementing, run this again. If any step you didn't implement, We'll get exception undefined undefined step exception. Any typos? See, small you no know, typo is there. That's why it is not written. Previously, we have given a small letter validate. Now I have given cap letter. That's why that is not that method is not there. It is saying. So you haven't implemented that method. It is saying. Then you can take the execution report also. See now four test cases, right? Before three, now four all are passed. So now you can uh, you know, refresh the project and get the report. See, all are uh, refresh. So the print statement are there, right? See, print statements also will print. See all four steps, see that? ID value two, so email you got, Janet, you were. Four scenarios. Scenario one, so this scenario outline is two, and scenario outline is second scenario outline, and fourth one. So this is the how we can automate your feature file and step reference file. So if you want, just go to target. So take the report.html. So and even we have a surefire report. You can see here. Uh, XML this one, this one, but uh, yeah, JSON report also will be there. As I will show you this is an output also there. I'll show you both of them. So this report, copy paste. The browser, four reports will be shown to you. Here, okay, right. See now, 100% passed, four executed, 6.69 seconds. See all four, you can see the clear step-by-step -step status. That's the difference between Selenium and this one, PD Cucumber. There step-by-step step you won't get there. At the test level you will get. So here step-by-step step you will get a status. So that is the other uh, so BD format. Now it is very famous one. Any questions, concerns? Yes, sir. Sir, question. Uh, if you have a different uh, feature file, uh, yeah. if you want to run only that, how can we? If you want to only run that feature file, you give in the test runner. Test runner. So here, feature I am given, right? The folder name I have given. How many yeah. features are there? All will run. But you can use okay. specific one if you want to run specific one. Otherwise, you can control with the tags. There is a tags control. You write the tags, and that tags you can control here. You can put, for example, I'm putting a tag here, my feature uh -huh. file. So 
I'll put only smoke test, right? So this I'll put yeah. a smoke test. At rate smoke. So now if this, you give only smoke, you will run. You can control like this. Okay. See now it will run only this one. It won't run. So here you put a comma because you are adding multiple, right? Only one, that's why it is. So now see, only this one will run. Tax. So I'll tell tax. Why is it Run right, okay. Package is change. How it change? Did it change or what? Okay, I'm sorry. I'm doing a different. So here we need to the tags. Equal to. Cannot not a string array. Okay. okay. So this is how we now you can run only that test. So this okay. also give a tag. So what we did in the feature file, we have given the scenario above the tag name, and that tag I am calling in the where. In the test runner, Kumbar options below, you have to give tags equal to the tag name you give. Only that tag you will execute, not other test cases. See now, only that tag will execute, others won't execute. So this is the tag based out to run. Okay. You can so specify the tags. That tag based test case only will execute for you, not other test cases. Only one executed. Can you see? Only one. Yes. Executed. Is that how you can control tag base? Okay. Okay. Thank you. So, so I covered here how to run the tags and uh, how to create a, another uh, 